This episode is sponsored by Q Sports International and Fist Holsters. It's fun living in New York. There's a lot to do. Remember that girl I played uh, in the pool hall about a month ago? A lot of people to get to know. Well, try to help me out, man. You know, remember that little... I play pool. I know you waitress at the room, and there was this girl I was playing a couple months ago. And, and that's not easy in a men's dominated sport. that would know where she is or who she is or how I can contact her. No one thinks you can play and they always treat you like you're a little kid trying to reach something that's too high for you. But I show most of them that that's not true. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you know where she is. You would think that being around hundreds of men all the time would make it easy to have relationships. I think that men think it would be like being in a convention for women sex addicts. But it's not. If you're too forward, men get arrogant or scared. If you just sit there and wait, you may be passed right over for the newest hot girl that catches their attention. I thought I made a big mistake a few months ago by being too forward with a player who was so stuck on himself that he made it really impossible to deal with him. I think he changed by the end of the match after I beat him. But by that time, it was way too late for me to cave, so I just walked away. I just really kind of liked her and wanted to get together with her. Um, I don't know, I'm just kind of looking, searching, trying to reach out to all my friends, see if anyone knows her. Hey, uh, I'm looking for this girl I saw her at the pool hall, a tiny little thing, very pretty. Uh, okay, she doesn't have a phone. Um, you have her address? Okay, that's awesome. Uh, boy, I don't know if it'd be awkward for me to just pop over and, and see her. Uh... There's one thing I can say about some men, though. They don't give up. I guess if they did, there wouldn't be any children in the world. Um, we need to talk.
Hello. Hi, Anne. How are you feeling? I guess I'm fine, Howard. I have to thank you for saving my life, but I don't know why you did it. I have to tell you, this situation is something that's been bothering me for a while now. I'm starting to have more nightmares. So why are you doing it? It all started in the service. You see, me and Jack were snipers. And when they're looking for snipers, they give you tests to separate out anyone with compassion. They have no room for it. If they want you to kill a woman or a child. They don't want to hear about your feelings for people and their need to have life. They just want you to shoot. So if you aren't like that, how did you become a sniper? Well, I wanted to be one so badly, and I knew what they were looking for, so I lied on the test. I'll regret that forever. What do you mean? I was told to kill a child suspected of carrying a bomb, and I knew it was probably true, but my reaction wasn't to shoot, but to see what would happen to him, because I didn't want to kill him. And my superior was yelling at me to shoot, and I was stalling, and he was yelling, and I shot him, and he blew up, and it was over. But it wasn't over for me. It's been on my mind for years, every day. That's terrible, Howard. I'm sorry. So, I joined this circle because I thought I could get over it, you know. Killing people for a lot of money might snap me out of it. But it hasn't. Now, I'm starting to see all of them in my nightmares. Is that why you let me go? That was one reason. The other is, uh, I want you to take down this call for hire business. I can't trust anyone anymore. Matter of fact, I can't be sure you aren't the third shooter. I'm not, Howard. I just have to trust my instincts. I don't believe anyone anymore. First, we have to find out who put the hit on you. Is it still on? Don't know. Usually if this happens, it's canceled and the payer loses the money. It's in the contract. Like if the police catch the shooter, the money's lost to ensure the shooter doesn't talk about the system. How do people get to use this system? Only very rich people have access to it. That way some undercover cop or FBI agent can pose as a payer. They check assets and how long people have had them. Couldn't they get someone to fake it? Possibly. But even if someone can buy, they can always get another shooter. There's always more shooters. This is a good business. I can make a million dollars a year with some high profile hits. Who's behind it? Don't know. They gave me a login ID and password, and it went from there. I flew to Switzerland and opened up a bank account, and they put money in it. Why don't you try to find out? Because if I do, I'll be the next hit. And since no one's connected with the hits, it's harder to predict than serial killing. How could I possibly do it? You have to find someone in law enforcement you can trust. Since Jack was a cop, he could have enlisted someone else he knew. Could be one of the feds looking out so the ring doesn't get busted. Wow. This isn't going to be easy. 
I'm not looking to get caught. You understand? Yes. You're the only one who knows the truth about me. They can't pin anything on me. You have to make it look like you figured it out. What? How, how can... You have to do it that way. I'll give you more information as we go along. Bye.